Good morning, John. This week I saw a tweet from the New York Times being shouted about on Twitter. It states, An organic cotton tote needs to be used 20,000 times to offset the overall impact of production, according to a 2018 study. That equates to daily use for 54 years. Having seen people shout about this, I quote tweeted the article and said I didn't know why people were upset. Would they rather not know at all? And some people were like, yeah, I kind of I kind of would rather not know it all. And I get this, but I'd like to make the case that we kind of have two options. We can either not care, which like I get it, or we have to pay attention and and care based on reality. The fact that a cotton tote bag might have a larger environmental impact than 50,000 plastic bags it seems like a piece of information I should have access to. Is it entirely accurate? Maybe because I think that this study was based on like a really big heavy cotton tote that like had really thick thick cotton, and a tote that uses less cotton, it's gonna have less impact, though it also will maybe have a less long lifespan. This stuff is complicated. But it is important to know that just because something is made out of cotton, or organic cotton, doesn't make it good for the environment. It's resource intensive to grow crops. If we think cotton is always good because it's all natural or whatever, we start putting everything in cotton bags. And, and we start using cotton like it's disposable. This has happened to me. I've gotten shoes, and they gave them to me in a box inside a cotton bag. There was already a box. Extra packaging can convey a sense of like high quality, of care for the customer, and of eco-friendliness that all have nothing to do with the product or reality. So yeah, this is a thing that I think people should know. We did a side show about this actually. But the basics, if you want to know what you should do, there are reusable totes that have a lot less impact on the environment than cotton, particularly like the really strong vinyl ones. They're like the fabric that a tent is made out of. And those are the best option, unless if you already have a tote, the totes you have are the greenest option they're already in your home. Or you can go to a second hand shop or a thrift store where there will be probably bags there that you can buy that were otherwise destined for a landfill. So that's the answer to that question. But the broader, more interesting question is like, where do I draw the line between the stuff that I care about and the stuff that I don't? And for me, I draw the line at the stuff that like I'm caring about. It's clear that if you are sort of upset by this article, you probably have some cotton totes. Like that's the reason that you, like that's the visceral reason that we got defensive, right? Like I have a bunch and we got those because we cared or because they were swag at a conference. My point is a lot of people don't have the space to care about this stuff and I totally understand that. But if we cared enough to like imagine that a cotton tote was eco-friendly, then we should change our mind when presented evidence to the contrary. If we're gonna care, we have to orient our care based on reality. Now is that easy? No, no, it's complicated. It also involves understanding that lots of things aren't really about me or you or us. Which I get it is a kind of un-American idea. We think everything is about us. But like ocean plastic is a great example here. Like people think I need to use a reusable bag because of ocean plastic. Like my bag might end up in the ocean. And no, like you should use a reusable bag because just making things to throw them away is a bad idea. Like there are better ways to do but it. But ocean plastic is like 50% fishing equipment. And almost all of the rest of it comes from places that don't have good, robust waste management systems like we do in the US. And thinking that like a reusable tote is a fix for that problem ignores the fact that the fix for that problem is international. It involves a lot of people who we do not have direct control over. It's a bit of a bummer, but it's a really good thing to know. And these things in general aren't that hard to find out. They just require us to look at how we're sort of feeling vaguely about the vibe of a thing, past that into a little bit of reality. Like, are we being sold an idea because somebody's trying to sell us something, or is this actually gonna have a positive impact? Is some of what we find they're gonna be a little complicated? Yeah. But, like, simplicity is almost always a lie. So, seems right to me. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.